Well, still unfolding tonight, Midland's $40 million question. What's the most effective way to prevent future flooding? Raven Blue sat in on a virtual meeting designed to bring some reassurance to those living in the area. The Midland City Council received a presentation Monday from Spicer Group, an engineering firm tasked with developing a list of projects to reduce the risk of flooding. Those two culverts on, mm -hmm. on the uh, Seabird Drain, we looked at those hydraulically mm -hmm. and um, recommended appropriate sizes based on a 25-year storm, which ends up mm -hmm. being the level of service that you typically see on an open channel county drain. The project is the result of the city receiving $40 million from the state and the American Rescue Plan to help prevent or mitigate flooding. So there's going to be detailed Army Corps models that are going to be forthcoming here very shortly that do very detailed models on all the culverts up and down the Snake and Sturgeon. Okay. And so we're going to compare their models to our culvert sizes just to make sure that we don't need to add more culverts downstream to the list on um, the Snake Creek and the Sturgeon Creek. We've looked at those pretty closely and I don't consider any of the culverts on Sturgeon Creek south of um, Sugnet, which is the one that we're looking at replacing. Those are all um, very large and very adequately sized. The Midland Business Alliance Advisory Committee on Infrastructure worked with Spicer and the Army Corps of Engineers to conduct studies to develop the list of potential construction projects. Between Saginaw and Sugnet is where the state and the Sturgeon split. Yeah. And so we were wondering if there was, we're evaluating it. This is one that's still actively being evaluated, but what does the cost look like to build two smaller pump stations as opposed to one large pump station? The committee will hold several events that the public is welcome to attend to get more information on the projects. The first being a virtual town hall on July 29th at 7 in the evening. Raven Blue, WNEM TV5.